If you're looking for cheap and reliable Ultimate Team coins, check the link in the description for FIFA Coin Zone. They're selling for £3 per 100k on the Xbox at the moment and £3 per 100k on the PlayStation. Use the code JOSH5 to get 5% off. What's up, lads? Josh here, and welcome back to another episode of FIFA 15 January Done Deals. Today, we're going to be talking about a lot of transfers, and a lot of these are actually custom cards made by me, so they won't be in FIFA this year, I can't imagine. And then maybe in FIFA 16, a lot of these will, ca uh, a lot of these cards we will actually start to see. Um, but yeah, we've got some pretty big transfers to cover today and a lot of potential future stars it looks like but um, yeah let's get straight into episode 7 of January Done Deals. And moving on to the first transfer of the day guys, we're going to be talking about Idea Good Johnson of course and he has recently just signed for Bolton from being a, pretty much a free agent. He was at, I think he was at Club Bruges in the Belgian league and then of course um, he just, well his contract ran out and he just sort of started training with Bolton. It was basically like the Valdez deal where Valdez, you know, was running out of contract. He, he was out of, you know, he's basically a free agent. Started training with Manchester United then signed for them and that is basically what Good Johnson did. Started training with Bolton and now of course he did sign with Bolton for a completely free deal, and uh, now Bolton have Good Johnson and Heskey. The amount of uh, the amount of jokes that could be used here is, is pretty ridiculous. But yeah, Bolton have got Good Johnson and Heskey. Taking a quick break from custom cards, we're going to be talking about a card that is actually in FIFA and will be in FIFA. I I, I, I can imagine he'll be in FIFA anyway. Um, I think this transfer is sort of big news, but um, yeah, uh, Nyang from of course AC Milan has just gone out on loan till the end of the season to Genoa. You know the same uh, the same league, so uh, I, I can imagine Nyang will or Ni is it Nyang or Nyang? I can I actually don't know. Um, but I'm pretty sure he'll be getting into the Genoa first eleven. He's an incredibly good player and has a great talent, ahead, you know, great talent and a great future ahead of him, hopefully. But whether that's with AC Milan, I'm not, I'm not sure. This loan sort of, um, you know, sort of worries his career at AC Milan, of course, because when you see a player play loaned out, you know, they obviously they don't feel like you're you're worthy of the starting eleven yet. But uh, maybe Nyan can, uh, you know, obviously pick up some form from Genoa, go back to AC Milan, and then show them what's for. And moving on to the next transfer, guys, we're going to be talking about Bielik with a transfer away from Legia Wasada, I think that's how you pronounce it, or something similar, um, from the Polish uh, league side. And, of course, he'll be joining Arsenal for £2.8 million. Um, he's only 17 years old, so, of course, this one will, it looks like, looks to be, like, one for the future. Uh, and it looks like they've got, um, you know, the next sort of... I don't know, uh, who, who would you say that he's most similar to? Probably like Kadira, uh, Schweinsteiger maybe, but I don't know. Hopefully that's what they're thinking that they, they've got their hands on here. £2.8 million is what they've paid for him. I don't think we'll be seeing him in the Arsenal side for a little while. Maybe, you know, next season or maybe in cup games. But until then, I think Bielik will be uh, sort of kept under wraps and sort of being trained undercover and obviously started playing, probably start playing, you know, in the reserves and stuff like that before building his way up to the main Arsenal side. And moving on to an incredibly big transfer, which I have actually had no idea about this player. For some reason, he's not on FIFA. He's, I don't think he's ever been on FIFA either. He's 20 years old, and Monaco have just bought this guy for £13.8 million. Pounds. That's a lot of money to pay for somebody that's obviously... Uh, well, he hasn't been around for a long time, but for some reason, I actually haven't seen this guy play, so I can't say anything about whether this is worth it or not. But if you think this is worth it, apparently it's worth it. You know, apparently he's like, I don't know, some next uh, potential player of... Uh, of some form um, but he looks to be an incredibly good player for the future and of course he's picking up some form uh, at Benfica and of course now he will be playing for uh, Monaco for 13.8 million like I said I haven't really seen this guy play at all so I can't judge him on you know whether this is worth it or not so I'll leave that to you guys in the comments let me know in the comments if you guys think that this transfer is worth 13.8 million and moving on to the next transfer, guys, we're going to be talking about Odegaard, and of course, he seems to be the, you know, the hype at the moment. Everybody wanted a piece of this guy, of course, he trialled at many clubs, he trialled at Liverpool, I think, um, Arsenal, Man United, uh, was Man City one of them? I'm not sure, uh, at Barcelona, uh, of course, Real Madrid, and Real Madrid was actually the team that he settled for. He's just signed for Real Madrid, he's only 16 or 17 years old, he's incredibly young, and he's apparently one for the future, and he could be the next Messi, apparently. I've seen a lot of this guy on uh, on, on actually uh, on YouTube videos, seeing like uh, one season of him, you know, scoring goals, assists, etc., skilled moves, and he seems like an incredibly talented player, and uh, of course, Real Madrid have just signed him for 2.5 million, from Norway side, I think the, te the, the team's name is like Stromgest or something like that, Strom, Strom Godset or something like that, I can't remember, um, but it is very simple, something similar to that, and yeah, I think we'll be seeing this one in FIFA 16, but in FIFA 15, I don't think we'll see a card, unfortunately. 
Now moving on to a transfer that sort of just came out of nowhere and this happened yesterday and he's actually fully signed for Swansea and it is of course Kyle Norton playing for Spurs, or was playing for Spurs, sorry, uh, and he seems to be getting in like a lot of games as well. I, I'm, it, it really does uh, surprise me this uh, this move. I feel like it's it's not a bad move but maybe that means that you know Spurs are trying to bring in a new right back or something because I think Kyle Walker's just come back from injury and of course I think he'll, he will always play over Norton so maybe he thinks uh, now would be a good time to leave as Kyle Walker's coming back into the Spurs side. But yeah, he's just signed for Swansea for £5 million. It's quite a lot of money to pay for, um, I would sort of say, like an average right back. But I don't know, maybe Swansea need him, maybe they don't. And moving on to the final transfer of the day, guys. We're going to be talking about Nathaniel Chaloba. And of course, he has recently just left for another loan spell. Um, he's just come back from Burnley from a loan spell, which didn't really do too much for his career. Um, he was hoping that, you know, that would sort of propel him in, in the right direction. But unfortunately, it didn't really do so. And he's going straight back out on loan to Reading this time. And uh, hopefully, he can pick up some sort of form and I really don't think he'll ever get into the Chelsea main side but I don't know maybe just uh, you know he's just looking for the right team and then as soon as he's found a good loan spell team maybe they'll sign him up. Thank you guys for watching the end of episode of FIFA 15 January Done Deals. This has been episode 7. We've covered 7 more players and the lists are getting shorter and shorter. But um, as time comes on, and of course it's the 23rd of January now, things are going to start to heat up. There's 8 more days of the transfer market and I can imagine there will be a lot more transfers for me to cover. So comment down below if you think I've missed any and of course I will cover them in the next episode. But apart from that, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, leave a like, if, leave a like rating. Subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. Follow me on Twitter at Chicken94 and apart from that, I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.